Let's jump to war here with part two of uh, this particular saving disaster campaign as uh, the Western Roman Empire uh, for Total War Attila. Alright, so previously we abandoned all of our other holdings that we had in hope of holding on to Tripoltana, which we didn't have, I conquered it, or more like retook re it. Uh, it's, a, it's a fuck situation, we, we're not out of the woods yet, but at least we've got a start here. Now, what I want to do... I really want to capture Sabrata over here. But at the same time, Macomedes is about to come under attack, probably. Just going to see what options are available. If we could peace out here, let's just see. Fortune. Alright. Welcome, I suppose. If we want to peace out with them. Do not sit. That is for us. Okay, we we could it, much easier get a peace out with those. Now here's the thing, if I send this army over here, they won't be enough to defend my Um if I send the army over here, won't be enough to attack this. You could probably defend my Hmm. But I can't split the force. Hang on. You come over here. Gotta get these guys over. I suppose you could actually pick up some of the troops here. What do we what do we have to deal with? I wanna take Sabrata and then peace out with them so that I can focus on, you know, just one enemy at a time. And we gotta consolidate the province. So I'm just thinking how many units will I need? One, two, three, four, five. I got five. I'm gonna take one, two, three, four with me. I probably took too much, but we did it. Alright, I'm gonna loot and occupy. Because we need some cash. Now that's gonna cause a revolt or something soon. Alright. We've got die tubs here that are repair on its own. Uh, fishing jetties. We've got a bit of food here. Now, like I said, you. You need to come here. And I'm pretty confident we can win that, because the thing about the the Garamantians is their generals are cavalry and they come charge again, which means they go up against our spears and get wrecked. There's no food shortage here. Alright, so we've got some... Alright, we've got to peace out now with Africa, because we're in no means by which to, to capture any more territory. Pretty expensive, but all right. Now that will just buy us some time. I just don't want them to counterattack us. This gives us now time to just focus on on them. The side arm is down here, so I want you to to recruit. All oh, right, I've already recruiting over there. That's fine. Okay. Alright, what are we going to build here? Well, we got to upgrade this. Got to get food. Oh man, it's going to be expensive. Sanitation is going to be important. So we need that. And then we should probably build a forum. For public order and money. And in Sabrata... It's an extra thousand, but it would have problems. Public order is going to be a problem because it's on legendary difficulty. You can see, or is it difficulty level minus eight? Nope. All right, don't worry about that so much. The, Rome's fairly tolerant, so it shouldn't be that much. Yeah, there's minus three religious differences, don't worry about that. 
Um, let's get food in here. Food's important. Alright, money's not bad. It's not awful. It's not bad. Alright, I want to repair this because I need to upgrade it. we got to get defenses up in these settlements as soon as possible. It's a poor territory, which is why we focus on sheep or cattle. Eventually, you know, once this is no longer the frontier, we can, um, we can demolish that for probably another food building, I think. But we'll see how we go. Okay. So we've got 10 turns before we can declare war on them. Hopefully by that point, we've taken out Garama. Now, how strong is Garama compared to us? Much stronger. Alright, we'll see how we go. Moving on. Just, yeah, just demolish that. Whatever. Moving on. Alright, doesn't give us very good odds, but it doesn't take it into account tactics. Which should be on our side. Basically, we kill the enemy general and then whistle shot the shit out of them. All they've got are cavalry and desert levy crap. Which means we have... I don't know. It, it's, it's tough either way. We should be able to win. I fought in the Western Roman Empire campaign, I fought the, the, the Garamantians many, many times. So, I know what to do. Alright, let's get a wall there. So they're coming in from over this way. Reinf enemy reinforcements will pop up from here. From this side, okay. So that means most of our strength needs to be placed here. So put more than half of the troops here and the general. The general has to stay here as well. Like I said, more than half the army. Uh, there's also these guys as well. Alright, I want slingers here. I want archers here, but don't fire at will yet. I want you shooting. You go right ahead. You stand back because I'll need your whistle shot. These four stand here. Um, let's see, you put him there. <coughs> Excuse me. You there. You here. I don't think anyone's going to go there. But just stay there. Uh, no, stay, put, put them there for the time being. And as for the cavalry, just leave them back for now. Yeah, just leave them there. And let's do this. So, fingers crossed. Okay, maybe hold fire just for the time being, because we don't, don't have lots of ammo. Let's see, here we go. So everything is relying on us killing the enemy general here. So here they come pouring in. Yep, you may fire at will. They're gonna come in, you'll be able to shoot in their flanks as they come in. Yeah, definitely want to be shooting in these, um, these sword units. Here comes the enemy general. You definitely want to shoot him. Is being Keep him alive. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Shit. Stand there and get into Testudo. Gotta kill the enemy general. Has to be done. 
Only a few of them are dying. But he's, he's coming to combat. Right, maybe use Whistle Shot. No, no, it's not Whistle Shot. Um, because from this angle here, they'll all take it and we won't. Six kills used off half its ammo. Yeah, great job. Good, just need one shot every now and again, that's all we need. So it reduces their melee attack by 8. So it allows, allows these guys to keep fighting for longer. Mm, not liking the look of this, but we can easily redistribute some guys over here. Liking the look of this, he's taking a lot of damage. What's your ability? Oh yeah, this is perfect. Extra bonus versus uh, cavalry. They haven't even arrived yet. Oh man, you did a terrible job on this. 27 kills. Well, so he's not getting many kills. He's inadvertently getting kills by, by saving their lives by reducing their melee attack. That's why we're not really taking much damage here. Only 13 of them left. Alright, oh, well, we've just won the battle. There we go. Right. Quickly get over here, run them down. Alright, you cease fire for the time being. Run them down before the enemy reinforcements arrive, and we just basically repeat the same process. I probably shouldn't have used both of them, but fuck, I needed to be done in a hurry. Come on, I told you to stop. run down as many of them as you can and then get back inside all right these guys here they took a lot of damage pull them back up to here good they're all shaking couple whistle shots and that'll sort them out how they going for kills You're gonna have to get back inside now. Oh shit. I'm off that. Gotta keep those casualties evenly spread out. Let the guys in the back have some fun. So, got a few kills in there. It was more or less for free. them to get back into position. Mm, 
head doing damage to us. So far, that's okay. Yeah, they're taking some damage. Alright, move back to here. Much better if they shoot over here, because this is, you know, in Testudo. Oh, I forgot about this guy, but he's... You know, whatever, it's not important. Hmm, says they're eager. Okay, how about you come down here, and we'll switch you up to here. Now we don't just want them to get away, we want to kill them of course. We don't want them to trickle away. We want them to all route at once so that I can get my cavalry to start running them down on mass. No, 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 I don't need you to fire at will. Shoot him. It's already been 200 seconds. Quick, get over here. Alright. Time to go, go. Get these archers. I want you to stop. And you over here. Chuck him a whistle shot. Should finish him off. And like I said, kill every last fucking one of them. Actually, I don't know if I said that, but that's what I meant. I always say that. But the damage is pretty minimal. I don't think we've got any units wiped out. Um, some of the desert shifting. I don't want these guys to get away, but you know, we can't just go after them right now. You start running them down. Doesn't matter so much if they get wiped out. Oh, there's. They're still bringing in their reinforcements. Doing okay for kills. Okay, the artillery just ran. This is your day. Well, there we go. We won the battle, but we have to try and wipe out as many of them as possible, or else it doesn't really mean a whole lot. They'll just come back. In fact, so many of them ran away that I don't think I can pursue them. He's been taking damage from the towers, but he's just got to get. He's gotten 47 kills, it's worth it. What are you doing?
Good. Every extra kill counts. Don't forget we're also recruiting. If we wipe out at least half, well actually a little bit more than half of their army, it, it, we should be able to catch up and finish them off. Just in an auto resolve. Because they're not going to get any replenishment either. No, hard to say. No, don't do that. I don't want you taking any damage. Alright, we'll call it a day there. Cool, heroic victory. How many of them remain? 486. We've got 885. We've got three units coming in of recruits. So that's another 150 men. So we should be able to pursue them and run them down. That being said, they'll get a new general just on one side. That guy's still alive. 6% or money. I'll take the 6%. At your command. So we can check and see if it if it works, and if it if it doesn't, well, wait for them to come back again. They'll be back, but we've seen now that they they can't possibly hope to beat us. Two stacks versus one, at least, no chance. And you know we weren't at full strength either, you know, in the garrison. Now another thing is that wiping out both of those armies. They're going to be able to recruit probably in the vicinity of 6 to 10 units every single turn. And the time it would take me to get there, you know, we'd be, we'd be dealing with some more of this shit. Um, just let them take it. This is whatever. Well, they're demanding a gift, so no. Surely, my noble friend, you can see Why would I want military access? Just trying to bleed me for money. They just sacked Palmer. We still own it. Cool. Extra relations with the Eastern Roman Empire is not bad. So they got no recovery. And we're at full... Oh, I was wondering why we... Dropping income. Um, how was that with this battle here? I don't want to keep it because it's just so expensive in upkeep. But no sense in disbanding it before this is done. Shit. Okay, at least we're able to handle them one at a time. That's good. And that meant two battles for him. That's... That's good. More experience. Take the replenishment, yeah. On the move. At your command. Good. Easy win here. This will wipe him out. I'll take the replenishment. You never know when they're going to come back. Okay, so that doesn't give any extra movement. All right, force march back to Macomedes. Because the revolts could happen here. It could happen anywhere. It used to always happen in the capital. But, I don't know, there must have been a patch somewhere where they changed it to somewhere random. Anyway, it's done, it's done. So we do that, we get extra growth here. Yeah, growth is important, very important. Gotta get them build slots. Okay, so he's got two points to distribute. We really got to get ourselves down to here. That extra melee attack will really help us in these kind of battles. But also over here, melee defense plus three for commanded force. So that does help. Anyway, we're going with that. Yeah. The integrity is fine now. All right, so go with. There's a, there's a lot we need to do to get down to Defenders of Virtue. But that extra melee defense plus 10, that's really useful. So we need to rush towards it. Everything else just is, doesn't even matter. Okay, so it will revolt. Uh, there's a bit of damage. It's fine. 
All right, so our finances aren't amazing. Okay, we need more sheep. Yeah, our finances aren't amazing. It's going downhill, actually. But we've still got a lot of money in reserve from the, you know, 46,000 that he left us with. He spent it all. But things are looking a lot more calm now, which is good. Okay, so we've got 13 food. Let me have a look at this. So that's minus 11. Okay, just just don't tax it. And over here, obviously damaged settlements don't make as much money. Uh, that's cheap to repair, so do that. That, sh that. Just let that repair on its own. How much money are we making from those? 60. So that would give us 240. Yeah, just let it repair on its own. Okay, so looking at this. The main benefit to this, though, is the extra defenses. That will still be fully active, e even damaged. So just leave it be. Could declare war on them. Alright, will anyone trade with me? Welcome, friend. Welcome. No, they won't trade. So let's have a look at what our trade agreement with the Eastern Roman Empire is providing. So they've they're delivering marble. Cool. Alright. So sanitation is actually it's not that great. That's providing public order. This provides that provides growth. That doesn't provide any public order. That does. I'm gonna go with latrines for the time being because we need that growth. The sooner we can upgrade this to maximum, the better. How much does that cost? Oh, it's expensive shit. All of that's repairing and being built up. Okay, now that they lost their armies, let's have a look and see how they rate towards us. We're actually considered stronger than them. So that means if you add up all of their garrison and all of their armies, it's less than all of our armies and all of our garrison. Okay. We probably don't need to spend as much on these guys here anymore. So I'm going to dis... No. Yeah, these guys here are really good, but the Mercenary Camel Warriors, I'm going to get rid of them. Because that'll save us a lot of cash. They're just a bit too expensive. Alright, now since it's going to revolt anyway, we might as well jack up the taxes so we don't take a deficit for the turn. Hmm. Like I said, it will repair on its own. It won't take that long either. Right, so moving on. I think I've done everything that I can. No. And the rebellion happens, you know, from the one region where we're not, which is usually what happens. But that's fine. That'll be easy to deal with, and it'll be a good opportunity for these guys to gain some experience. Okay, we got Garama. Garama and Tia over here. Your is no, I can't justify doing that, dude. I've got another full stack here again. Um, no, I don't want the settlement. Just take it away from me already. I don't want it. Not taxing it, just take it away. This is our capital. <laughs> Whatever, just take take the fuck away. We do not give gifts lightly. Yeah, you're not giving a gift, you're demanding it. Piss off. I, or I paid you heaps for a peace treaty. Shove it up your ass. Faction destroyed. Ghoul. Fine. Fine. 
I'm actually rooting for these guys. Alright, so they're, they're coming in, they want to attack something. Now, at Sabrata here, we have not recovered. But I reckon we could actually take the fight to him. I'm not going to have enough movement to get to that. The rebel doesn't matter so much. Move over to here. Because you want to attack him in this direction. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Okay. How are we going to fix this? He's not on Force March or anything. Why are they giving him such good odds? Well, I guess we have to fight this manually, but I feel like I can win this. I just thought an auto resolve would be sufficient. Alright. Then again, their Desert Levy do perform pretty well in auto resolve. But I've got way more, so I don't know. That's what I was really afraid of. I have to get my army together right away. That's going to be really difficult. Okay, it's coming in from over there. Shit, this could be... We could be in serious trouble here. But, maybe they'll just sit there. So I reckon he, he can beat this on his own. Too bad I can't choose where my reinforcements come from. I mean, it makes sense in terms of where they were on the map, so I'm not like... This isn't the reinforcement bug like it is in Total War Tiller. Come on, um, you stay behind here. I want you to play Dodge and Rocks. Okay, they're getting ready to shoot. I'm glad they're being passive. I think it'd be way easier to dodge if I dodge and rocks this way. From left to right. It's hard to tell exactly where they're going to land. Problem is, though, if they do land fucking kill so many of them. But, as I said, it'd be much better if I'm just really capable of dodging them. They're not going to land a single hit on me. Alright, I, I can do this much faster. Shit, 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 shit! <laughs> Did say they're not going to land a single hit. Part of the problem is that they're, they're firing not all at the same time. If they fired all at the same time, this would be easy. Okay, but we also still need to get these guys together, so keep them moving. So this basically makes one of their units completely useless. Okay, they're out. So that, if they had a full stack, now that's only got 19. Cool, we've got a larger army than they do. Alright, and I don't think we lost anyone on that. Alright, next up, since they've got a lot of hurlers, we want to waste their ammunition. Go up there and just get into Testudo.
He doesn't have Testudo, so don't use him, obviously. And they'll be lucky if they even get 10 kills. And that'll be more units of theirs that we have removed from the... Essentially removed from the battle. These guys here, just stay behind them, just in case they start charging at us during the thing. Thing to note, though, come with intensive spears, garbage melee attack. This is what we got, got to worry about. When we do actually get into melee, we have to surround them. And so I don't want to be getting shot while I'm moving moving around them. Which is why we just take this out a little bit at a time. Weaken them every little bit we can before we go in there. We're good? We're good? Right. Alright, start moving into there. So we've got one, two, three, four units of hurlers. They might get the first shot in. But then we go into Testudo, and they will get no further kills. Well, you know, actually, they're not doing too bad there. But it's not a lot. Well, I did say they wouldn't even get ten kills. Maybe it's because of the high ground, I don't know. They're not doing anything over here. That one there hasn't shot a single round yet. That's okay. So yeah, they barely killed anything here. We're moving a little bit closer. And allow them to waste their ammunition. Now, once they run out of ammunition, they might just come balls to the walls at us. And if that happens, so be it. Make sure we're ready in position. Yep, told you. Okay, I need you guys on uh, that. Shoot the mercenary desert, whatever they're called. You get around over here. Go for them. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be in test duty. I forgot to put them in test duty, but it's okay. Of course, we've got to keep in mind that our guys will not fight for very long. Shoot the enemy general. They're, they're holding out reasonably well. This is, I guess, that melee defense coming in for us. You just stay there. Come over here. No, no, you guys should not be fighting the enemy cavalry. Move back. Let the spearmen handle this. And don't forget, we've also got Scare. GG motherfuckers, G the fuck G. And now we just run them down as much as possible. Pretty damn happy with how that went. That went like clockwork. Nothing went wrong. Careful planning can sort things out. That's what it's all about. I don't bother sending my infantry to run things down because just they're just too slow. And 
And because it's on small unit scale, I kind of need to kill every last one of them. But yeah, the damage was very minimal. Hundred and thirty seven casualties to their seven hundred and eighteen. We crush them in that fight. But we haven't wiped them out yet. But they should be sent back this way. I'll take the money. Commander. Excuse me. Advance. At your command. So you have a choice here. Take out the rebel army or take out him. Can't do both. I don't think. I'll take him out. Make haste, man. So let's see here. Ready for battle. Oh yeah, I think we've actually got enough movement. All right, make sure that you're force marching to here, so you come and assist. Yeah, I'll take the replenishment. Well, you would have leveled up a fair bit. Yeah, a little bit. Well, here's the extra melee defense for you. So that's good. So he leveled it up to here. Yeah, you don't... Well, you know, that's actually not bad. But still... Like, if that's what he wanted, fine. Already put some points into it. There's going to be another revolt here, according to this. Oh, right, yeah, because of taxes. Oh, damn, that money is useful, but yeah, we don't want revolt. But okay, public order is pretty good. It's good to see. This is going to decrease public order. Did that repair all its own in one turn? Or did I actually do it? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Alright, what are we going to do here? We could go for the auditorium, which will provide the most public order. We could go with the tabernacle, which is good for... Okay, yeah, we'll go with this because we need the spy. Spies will really help us out. Alright. Money's okay. Alright, now I think it's time to disband you. Start getting rid of all the expensive units. So I'm going to keep them because I think they're worth the price. Alright, let's have a look at the Garamantians in terms of strength. So they're willing to accept peace, but we've got to have some enemy to bash down on. The other option would be the African Separatists. Now, if they were to capture Carthage, maybe I'd accept that. Another thing to consider as well is... Uh, I don't know. Fucking hell, I don't want to talk, don't want to talk about it. Alright, you come over here. I'm going to want him to spy on Sidamus. If it's not well defended, maybe we should take it. We can afford this. If I upgraded this, purple dies. Let me check this. So, it would double it. Currently 240, so we get us to 480. Corruption free, but corruption's not really a big deal right now. We're getting low on cash, maybe just hold off on that for the time being. Well, Gotta get out of some of these wars. Nope. And I'm not about to go just check on these every single fucking turn. So at this stage here, they've probably got maybe one army recruiting at Garama. Maybe. That's why I need to get a spy down here to check. It's always good to have intel. Alright, should we move on? Let's move on. Oh yeah, we still have fucking that region. Why won't they just lose it already? I don't want it anymore. 
Somebody bloody take it. So these is uh, Septimania, fine. Are they still just sack it? Just take it already, you dipsh- Okay, someone took it, finally. Money's good. Okay, you come over here. You come over here. So from Saitamas, we can have a look and see what's here. It's a level 2 settlement, it's got some stables, it's got sheep pens and weaver. So they're making loads of money from that province. Yeah, shit loads. Okay. But it's not defended. Part of the problem though is getting there in a single turn. We can stand we can stand here without taking any attrition. So public order is good, and the money here is good as well. We can actually raise another force here to defend it if you know it comes under attack, which it shouldn't do. What's going on with this? Why is this current squalor eight? Ah, uh, because of... Okay, it's fine. If we upgrade this a bit more... It's an extra one. Money's kind of tight. I mean, the growth is the growth is actually really good with that. Recru growth required for population surplus, 105. What are we currently accumulating? Eight. Ugh, more than ten turns to get to the next one. We need five. So it'll take a long time to grow that. So getting an extra three would certainly help. So it also fixing the public order. Which, that's not going to help. Need is this. Oh, we need that food. Food's actually pretty good. Okay, we got money. When we capture this, we won't be able to recruit any units until it's been converted, so... Yeah, let's do that. So you stay on the border over here, just give us a tiny little bit of intel, and deploy. And if all goes well, we'll be able to hit Saidamas next turn. And then we just need to take Garama. Which is going to be a fucking nightmare to get to. I can tell they're rebuilding. Yeah, now it's it says low. It's one of the most difficult areas to attack. Just due to being in the desert. But once we've got it and secured it, fantastic. Alright, moving on. Also, desert attrition is not as bad as winter attrition, so... But it's still, it's still pretty bad. Funny thing is, at this point here, the campaign is no longer fucked. So, I don't think we need to do a third episode. Is it going well? Hell no. But is he in danger of death right now? No. We ask you today to send them against these wicked people. No. Because he's making surplus of income. He's got one and a half armies. He's got food surplus. He's got two borders with people that aren't at war with him, one of which is an ally.
but still I would really really like to take out the Garamantians I think that would be a a big help for him even if this region isn't wealthy just just for them not to own it so they lost their territory so uh, the separatists failed oh well and according to this we just make it yeah we just make it there okay now so man they are recruiting fucking fast Uh, they got it at 9. We'll see what they're at next turn. Okay, so a unit that's at 56. This is another problem. I'm not sure how the unit scaling is for for attrition on small unit scale. Should be percentage, but I don't know. Like it's, it's not horrible. Bad, but it's not horrible. Part of me wants to loot knock. Yeah, you know what? I will loot and occupy. They're not coming back here anytime soon. Okay. Knock that. Uh, we gotta destroy this. How much money are we making? A fair bit. We could recruit a whole nother army from 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 just this region here. Well, half of an army. But the public order would be disgustingly bad. so much money there. Alright, double checking this now. You say anything, They're willing to accept peace. Unmuted, what have they got at Garama? So they can recruit desert hurlers and levy spears. That's about it. But their main benefit is of course the fact that they don't suffer desert attrition and we do. Public order here is still okay. Yeah, get that tech, that's good. Ah, uh, here we go. Campaign movement range and extra melee attack, very nice. And we'll replenish after a turn or two. What do we got here? Horse breeding. Okay, I don't intend to disband them anytime soon. Alright, so we got money. Okay, repairing this will cost a thousand. I mean, I just. I'll get that money back almost immediately. Alright, do it. Like I said, if this province is making us 1,500 right now, that's almost as much as what that army costs in upkeep. So I could keep it there just to keep it under control. I'm actually wondering if I should have even bothered looting it. You know what, I'm actually gonna repair everything. I don't usually do that. There's just so much money here. We'll get so much more cash. Are you able to recruit here? We can recruit here. We can recruit competency spears in this province. Okay. Alright, I want you to come here. We gotta finish Garama off. I want you to recruit. Now, while that's going on, since we've got so much cash, this army here could go, I don't wanna fight you, and just come out over here to fight Macomedes or Lepsis Magna. If that was to happen, we need to have another army ready to go here. We've got enough money that we could, oh, yeah. We should also get this, that we can, um, uh, let me just see. Up keeps 180. Okay, so yeah, at my comedies. Get a... Alright, we'll grab you. Reinstate a legacy. Get all of one. Grab this. 
Also, we need to hurry up with this because someone could come down here at any moment and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna loot, loot this province if you don't fucking mind." Uh, no, that's a that's a that's a bad motherfucker. No. All right. Tempted to upgrade this. Public order is stable for the. No, it's actually not stable. So you recruit this because we got the money for it. Nothing we can do about the event right now. The uh, the separatists just have way too many t uh, territories. There's nothing I can do about it. These will provide some public order as well. Not a lot, but some. You might just have to deal with constant revolts. Again, yeah, not the end of the world. Plus, when he levels up, he'll be able to provide even more public order. Questioning whether or not I should build that up. Uh, just leave it be. Okay. Alright, moving on. We can assign a provincial governor over here. Yeah, alright, whatever. Let's see what we can do. So, religious influence plus four Latin in ne neighboring provinces can be really good for, for this province as well. Alright, I'll do that. Because I expect to see revolt after revolt after revolt here. Now, at Garima, what's the defenses there? It's not great. Yeah, and then after we've dealt with Garima, should take out Dimity. How much are uh, gems worth? 22. No, it's not that much. And then after we've after you've done that, then focus back on Africa. Get your territories back, and just slowly take your territory. S slowly take territory. You don't want to expand too quickly. Basically, once Attila takes control of the Huns, most of this land out here is just going to burn to shit anyway. And just let him. Okay, moving on. But this is so far in the future that I, I won't be involved in that scenario. Uh, yeah, they are recruiting very quickly. We're gonna have to wait until those armies move out away from Garama. We can't, we can't assault that now. God, it's insane how quick they recruit. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, I could have done that. That doesn't matter. What? Did we have disease somewhere? United against us, Aran. Oh, I guess I should have taken the Eastern Roman Empire's offer while I had the chance. Disease at Sidamus. Which... Interrupts unit replenishment. Really? Come on. I mean... Uh, that is so unlucky. Just thinking. Mm, there might be a way around this. 
But in order to do that, I have to save Scum. So if I just load up the save file, right, it should take us back to the previous turn. And we could just hope for the, the RNG gods not to give us... Uh, uh, well, I want to see what the chances are that, that it will occur. Because nothing happened over the end turn. Oh, uh, no, no, no. It's on legendary difficulty. Duh. No, it doesn't work that way. Never mind. Alright, well, that didn't tell me what the chances were. There's no need to convert it. Alright. There'll be a revolt, and uh, that's just. So yeah, they they're going ham on mercenaries as well. So that's where they get all right. Oh man, I got so much money coming in. But I just can't recruit fast enough. Okay. God, if they turn around now and attack us, that's dick move, dick move. We haven't fully recovered here yet either. Hey, what? They're recovering. Uh, how did that happen? Did I just find a bug? Probably. If we don't hire them, they will. There's also these as well. I mean, we've got the money for it. Why not? That disease is not going to go anywhere. Alright, they can get to us as well. I'm confident that my two armies can be their two armies. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking, right? We just move you to, like, here. You won't make it there next turn. Alright. How much movement do you need? 50%, okay. So you move to about... <coughs> excuse me. Move to about here. much attrition. Same with you. Move to bed here and then get into in, in, um, in camp mode. No, 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 no. Just hire mercenaries. No, actually, don't do that. <coughs> okay. There's going to be constant revolts here. Hire another general. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to have to hire the remaining mercenaries. Okay, um, three public order. Yep, that one's good, I guess. <coughs> that actually lowered it. Okay. If we increase taxes... Okay, there's heaps of money to be made from that. So basically, we just need to wait for them to make a move. When they leave this... Uh, but what if they pile up three armies here? He's not recruiting. How many armies do they have here? Okay, here's what you do, right? You besiege the settlement, and then you come down... Oh, we're going to take so much attrition just getting there, though. I'll need to play it by ear. Alright, moving on. See if he's a full stack by the next turn. 
Probably will be. This is actually good. Because with one army in here... We can take Garama. We still have to lay siege. My unflinching will burn Fuck! Don't call in this at that point. So where did the disease spread? Ha! <laughs> Suck shit. Okay. So yeah, there was a revolt here. They've got a few units. Any other mercenaries? Yeah, a few. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. I don't know what's coming down this way. It's not really, man, we spent a lot of money. So here's the thing. We should... Oh, are you... Fucking kidding me. They misdirected us. And we didn't end up getting any replenish. Oh no, we got some replenishment. You can begin the attack. And you could force march over here. He's in force march. Could I force march you? I can get you to Sabrata to defend it. Because you'd, you'd be able to defend against this and they won't be able to take Lepsis Magna. That's... Uh, our defenses here should hold. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Alright, and then just hire some mercs. I'm going to increase my finances a little bit. I mean, because we've already got a revolt here anyway. I didn't think that would work, but I was worth a little look. Let me just see if there's other mercenaries. Oh wait, there was one, wasn't there? Let me just see. No, it didn't make any difference. I'm just thinking, could we win this? Don't, uh, don't risk it. Just wait for them to attack. They'll, they'll attack, probably. Anyway, you just have to deal with another revolt straight after anyway. Alright, you'd have to force march to get within range here. And you'll have to besiege. This is gonna hurt in terms of attrition. If they sallied out, we would beat them. Alright. The Good, we can win that. Well, it's gonna hurt, but we'll win it. The Are there any artillery here by any chance? I mean, no, there's not. That sucks. Okay. You come back over this way. I think we're gonna get them. I think we're gonna get them. And I want you to recruit some more troops as well. Alright, let me just see if I can get a peace treaty with the Getulians. Oh yeah. I mean, they're considered super weak. They mustn't even have an army based on that, so I'm just wondering if I even should. Okay, we got the Vandals coming down this way. Could you piss off? No. But they seem really weak compared to us. Look at us, we're strength ranking 8 now. I mean, part of the reason for that is because this region here is just... Just oozing money. But it's just such a fucked province at the same time. Alright. Let's move on. Hang on, let me just check to see if there's any other trade agreements at all. Ah, uh, people hate us now. Alright, moving on.
Artists would be better to maintain public order, but whatever. Um, Cunning, he needs more authority. He's got to get the public order. But that's all, all that's been done, so I might as well grab this. Zealand's province does nothing major. So yeah, if they attack Sabrata, I'm very confident of victory there, even though we're in Force March. Hired the mercenaries so they couldn't grab him. Yeah. Couldn't do it. Uh, go away! No! It didn't buy me much time at all! Oh, god damn it. Oh, wait, he can. I'm glad we're done with this war. I need to peace out with the Getulians. They hired an additional four units. Ah, oh, damn it! Hindsight. God, they might send two full stacks down here as well. Shit. Well, whatever the case is, get, you got to get rid of this first. Bit of damage, nothing that we can't recover from. I mean, looting and occupying would be delicious. Definitely don't do this. They will not stay loyal for long. Okay, so we've taken taken that. That's a good settlement to have as well. But we need a lot of money now to, to build all this stuff up. This is bad timing. You dickwads. In the name of the state. I'm willing to pay all the money I've got to make now, them go away. What do you want? They won't have it. They're considered slightly stronger than us. But, you know, they could send their entire weight down here. The Warriors of Ravenna. Sabrata is only worth 1,300. Losing it's not the end of the world. We need to... We need to defeat him, firstly. Nine, eight, okay. Alright, drop the taxes back down now. Let's see if they'll accept peace. Because they're probably raising some armies. God, we just. I knew I had to get down here fast. Because, you know, I knew that peace treaty wasn't going to last us long. That was not 10 turns. There's no way. What turn are we on at the moment? Let me just have a look. 32. God, I've played the game more than he did. Um, I, I can't remember what turn we got the piece on. If I did that, I wouldn't have enough movement to catch up to him again. Plus, we'll take, take huge amounts of attrition. Yeah, we're better off finishing him off first. Most of those units are just... We, we could probably win just with this, but still, i got to bring the other army back. Come and stand here, and I'll make him make the attack. And that'll push him in this direction, and then you can finish the job from there. Uh, what? Why no force march? Ready for orders. Was it because he was on force march in the battle? Oh. Damn it. 
Um, okay. Well, we can see what he's got. It's mostly hurlers, which we can we can negate them with them. That's easy enough. Oh, uh, the garrison comes out to help. All right, never mind. We're fine. I didn't even need to hire those archers, which they're not they're not bad recruits. And that's the end of Garama. Cool. One enemy de dealt with. Ready for battle. We hunger for battle. You know what? On second thoughts, just fuck it. We need money. So, Garama, what are we doing here? Courthouse, if we were to switch that over, we could get to the auditorium. Okay. Uh, repair for 540. Training ground, don't worry about that. Garamond died, right? Yes, Garamantians are dead. Good. This campaign's no longer fucked, but it's still, you know, it's tough. It's, it's a tough one. It's a shame we had to abandon Sabra. So we've got lots of money coming in, so that's good. And we need more soldiers. This province here is more valuable. Oh no, it's not actually. Alright, start converting this, because I I think I can hold it. Oh, I don't have enough money. I mean, I've got enough money for that, but only that. Uh, he wanted those, so I'll, I'll give him that. It seems like that's what he wanted to go for. Because he's going to be taking over. Well, I don't even know if he'll, he'll want to continue. <laughs> I've played this campaign more than he has. Wait, hang on. He was on 18. If I get to turn 36, then I have. Um, if I could just repel... If I, uh, I don't know. All right. You come over here. And yep, spread religion and preach... Yeah, whatever. Just learn, learn the various abilities. So the sanitation here, sanitation plus two to all regions. All right, repair that. That might help us heal this. If we have a look at the sanitation, it's at six. No, it's less than that. More than that, seven. More than that, fuck, it's six. Sorry, three, six, ten sanitation issues. I mean, really, you shouldn't have... Hang on, this is making money, large amount of money from, hang on, let me just see here, because this place is infertile, this isn't making that much cash, destroy it, okay, yeah, you need to get down to this, very important, Right, well, we got lots of money coming in. Oh yeah, but the replenishment here is bad, isn't it? I mean, they're just not in great shape. Okay. I'll, I'll try one last time to see if they'll peace Welcome, out. I suppose. No, do not sit. That is Because here's the thing, if we leave it undefended, they might send very few troops over here. And if they occupy it, then we just kill them. Right, let's move on. I've done everything that I can. That's good. Our eastern border is secure, thanks to the Eastern Roman Empire. But you got to keep in mind that the Eastern Roman Empire will fall. It always does. So it's not going to stay like that forever. You have to deal with this, this Africa situation as soon as possible.
Okay, we got those bunkers over here. So yeah, they're going to make this attack here. They send another army in. Now, we should fight this battle manually. I, I have no delusions. We, we can't win this, right? We should fight it manually to weaken them. That's it. Because our armies aren't in great shape. And I want to take this back and I want to kill their armies. And I want to auto-resolve it. <laughs> because assaulting these settlements manually is a fucking nightmare at this unit scale without, you know, artillery and lots of missile support. Alright. Alright, so... Let's put you here. I'm wondering if there's any point even, like, putting that there. Because they're just, they're not going to get any kills. We have to rely on the towers. Hmm. Because these guys, they're just, yeah, like I said, they're just not going to get kills. And there's not that many cavalry coming in. So if I... How many towers are there? There's one, two, three, four. Like, let's... Let's just leave it like this. Don't worry about it too much. Like I said, we didn't stand a chance in the first place. Every kill that we can get is bonus. Actually, I'm going to have you come out. Because you're not going to be of any use to us here. And just annoy whatever units you can. I mean, the only possible way we could win this is, is if the general falls on his sword. Basically, right now. No, 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 no. Uh, just, just hold off on that for the time being. If that unit gets wiped out, that'd be good. Every unit we can wipe out is, is good. The tower has been destroyed. Orders understood. Fires at the level. Okay, get over here. You get any kills? Nope. Of course not. Not on this unit scale. Alright, no one's coming around the back here. What are you fucking shooting at, you retard? Aim for the general. Testudo at this point isn't going to do anything. It's only good against cavalry. Come around the back here. We'll see if we can get a bit of a cycle charge going in here. Let me come over here and help. Like I said, if I can manage to kill a whole bunch of them, then great. You know, that's all, that's all we're hoping to do here. Oh my god, stop. Stop firing. They might end up killing the enemy general. Ah, oh, it's too late. Oh god, if we kill the enemy general right now, that would just be amazing. But I just don't think that's going to happen. To actually win this battle, holy crap. That would be... That would be the miracle that I was wanting. The 
Come on, you got a cycle charge. Come on, break a whole bunch of them. Because I want to wipe out a, as many as, uh, as many of them as we can. Come on, kill, kill, kill. Oh, watch out, watch out. I gotta admit, this is going better than I had thought it would have, but there's, uh, there's just no way we're gonna win. Riders, at the Go back over there with your other retards. <laughs> that tower's still there. It would be better for us to wipe out this unit than opposed as opposed to you know doing any more damage or anything else. Because there's no replenishment for this unit. The men are losing hope. Scout, Fucking cowards. The glory. Definitely has gone better than what auto resolve would have yielded. You gotta wipe them out. Six men left might still, even five men, that's still 10% of them. A little bit more than that. A little bit less than actually. Um, come on, take him out. Before that tower shoots you. Okay, that unit's probably wiped out. Come on, get out of there. Okay, there's a Legio over there. While these guys are fighting, we'll see if we can get over there and wipe them out. Although I don't think the battle's gonna... Yeah, there it goes. So, I'm actually pretty happy with how we did in this battle. Did better than I expected. Can I kill the enemy general? That would be just amazing. Since he's here. Hmm. Now, absolutely, run the fuckers down. Ha! I can't believe we killed the enemy general. But the battle's still gonna be lost. Oh, if only we had some uh, whistle shot. Oh well. The men are losing. The men are broken and are fleeing. I'm very happy with how this went. Considering what they threw at us, I'm very happy with that. Look at their losses. Holy shit. This arm, if they didn't reinforce it, we would have easily crushed that. But I knew that... Was, you know what's funny? If I had let, stayed here, I probably would have won the battle with, you know, the army. But then they might have sent another army over here. So, I don't know, who knows? Are they going to sack it or occupy it? Just, just sacked it. Ooh, those Gatulians. That's... That's nasty. Okay, this is not going to be a problem, but... Damn it, that's more strength than I thought they'd have. I really need to peace out with one of these fuckers, because I, I only should be dealing with one of them at a time. I'd probably prefer to deal with the Gatulians, but... I don't 
know. Oh, I have an idea, actually. If, we, if When we survive this battle, I have an idea. Yeah, and it could work out pretty well. Because the Cotulians are, are basically no different than the Garamantians, right? If I could just get a whole bunch of spears over here, they'll break. Spears and archers. I think I, you just stay over here. They're in test right? Yep. They're most likely just going to charge up here. So you get into test there. Alright. Mm, i got to be careful, because these guys are not particularly fast. They have to commit to the, the battle before I go over there and try and take out their missile units. Alright. Barricades. If we need to fall back, we have this as an option. Now, I want to keep these guys in reserve for the time being, so that when the general's dead, we can use whistle shot. Alright, so you stand over there. We got incoming over here. Uh, actually, come around this way. Oops, that's right. Forgot to turn them off. Our general is being attacked. Keep him alive. Okay, get over here. Are those artillery doing anything? No, they're just sitting around. Enemy general is going to die in a moment. The tower has been destroyed. The battle is turning in our favor. The general has been killed. Excellent. Okay, here's a problem that we're, we're going to face against the Garamantians, which are coming probably next turn. Well, should I really deal with it? Maybe I should give it to the guy to deal with. Because, like, I'm in an hour and a half here. I've... Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I need to do a third episode? No, I, I don't feel like I do. Like, if I do a third episode, it'll just absolutely cement his position and make it almost too easy. I mean, considering how fucked he was at the start, he definitely needs to do some of the work himself. Gonna need that replenishment, yeah. So here's what I was thinking. Was force marching... Man, that sack really hurt. <sighs> Shit, what are we on? Oh wow, and that's on the highest. That's okay. That's okay. Hmm. This guy's got attrition as well. We hunger for battle. So yeah, here's what I'm thinking. Oh right, that's why. Oh hang on, these are. These light onagers aren't actually mercenaries. You should you should keep that. So yeah, as I said, we force march. Ah, oh, fuck! He doesn't quite make it. Ready for 
Well, that puts a pin on my plans. Make him go away. You have my attention. Now, Whatever the cost, make him go away. Shit. Chances are we can win this. I mean, we just need to kill the enemy general, which, you know, it's not that hard. He's <sighs> got disease. Are there any more mercenaries here? Uh, those, those could help. Uh, I was really hoping he could uh, force march over here, basically. Just merge whatever units are damaged, hand whatever we can over to them. But the problem is, if I force march here, they're just going to attack him. And if I stand outside here, it's... He's not going to make it back to the battle in time. At your command. That's pr some pretty significant damage as well. Welcome, but expect scant pleasantries. I lack time to waste. Okay, we get, I think we're going to have to do a third episode on this. Um, this is too much of a difficult situation for me to justify handing it back to him at this point, considering you know how fucked it was at the start. One more. I refuse to do any more than three episodes on any disaster. Um, uh, the, my biggest concern is, though, that if I do a third episode, I'm actually going <laughs> to lose ground and actually be in a worse position in this one here. But uh, we'll see how we go. So I will do one more on this. So guys, like and subscribe, part three, which will be the final part, do or die, on this. And uh, don't forget to visit me on Facebook and on Twitter. See you next time, fuckers.